So somebody's asked, um, and so, so right, the, you know, the kind of people that would ask me advice on harmonica pedals, for instance, right, are the kind of people a bit like I was two years ago when I really knew nothing about this stuff. I've, I've never played an electric guitar, guitar through a pedal um, and an amp. Well, a little amp maybe, you know what I mean? But no effects, there was no effects. Now, I don't want to say straight away, I ain't the man for this job. I am not the man for this job. There's there's harmonica groups, harp, harp pedal groups, harp pedal board groups, where there's highly experienced people. So I'm just, I'm talking, I'm talking to that person who has, £30, $30, and they want to buy their first guitar um, pedal, yeah? I'm not talking about, you know, Lone Wolf pedals. I don't know nothing about them. Um, I'm not talking about harp-specific pedals. I know nothing about them. I'm not, not, I'm just, I'm just sort of showing what I got, yeah, what I've got. And to be honest, I don't use them because I've realized in my learning, um, the time that I've got, I either need to learn more acoustic playing, getting better at rhythm and breathing and, and um, all that stuff, yeah? yeah? Getting better tone, right, With, without all this. And then if I've got any time, then I'll just play without any pedals, just just plugged in. But so, but for the sake of this little video, what I've done is I've I've got my my uh, pedal board out. So so let me show you what's going on here. Right. So for this, you know, so that I don't have to plug it into the wall, which I can do. So for the sake of the video, I've got a pig nose hog hog. Hog 20, right? I guess it's 20, 20 watts. Right, it's uh, it's got like a little motorcycle battery in it. Um, and this is powered by rechargeable. That's a rechargeable thing. So that, see all those leads there? So that I don't have to plug any of these into the wall. Now that might have an effect, I don't know. And also that not being powered by electricity into the wall might also um, be a bit of a downgrade. So right now, uh, the only pedal that I've got going through, the only, the only pedal I'm going through is this force field. Now, like I said, I, I personally am working on acoustic tone and then maybe a bit electrified. Um, so, and I think I was playing with this force, force field the last time I had it out and, you know, to try, oh, cause I was a bit like, what, what does it even do sort of thing? And it was so long ago that I've now forgotten what it really does. I think what it does is it boosts what you've already got. Yeah. It kind of boosts the, um, the acoustic sound or the amplified sound <laughs> So I've got the Heart Blaster is it B52 Heart Blast Blaster Honer modern thing with the uh volume rocker you know you ask people in groups uh, what, what volume should I have that at and stuff and people say oh yeah turn it all the way full blast get the maximum out of the microphone but then other other people who I trust have, have said turn that down and then I turn the um... see I think there's a lot to be said about learning what you know if you, you got an amplifier what do they do should you have them on the minimal should you have this on you know so youtube it youtube the amp that you've got find out if somebody is uh putting a harmonica through that amp 
um, and where you should have these settings. You, there's Tomlin. Tomlin makes a very simple uh, video about um, you know what, where to have a gain roughly, and where to have your volume, where to have your tone. That's a very simple video. It's very helpful. Um, yeah. So going back to you know the the force field. T T C electronic force field. <laughs> the squeal basically turned right off a squeal what is it i think the squeal adds like reverb i think that might be adds a bit of sort of squeal to the deal right so i think i had that just about on my volumes on you know it's like it on the second notch or something very low really my volume rocker on the microphone is is just on and then what's this the tone is just just on there right <laughs> See the red light on the on the TC? Did you hear that? with these things the change is often very small but that change is almost everything sometimes so maybe maybe that's because I'm the unlearned yeah I don't know what I'm talking about so when there's change sometimes I don't hear it but I'm beginning to hear it so then therefore uh, what I'm saying is in the change can be small, but it's very big if you can hear it, right? You hear that? It just boosts. Yeah? You hear the boost? You hear the boost? Even yeah. that? It boosts the sound. So what else have we got? So, you know, uh, somebody in a group just talked about, I think it was the harp attack or something. Oh, I shouldn't misquote myself, misquote somebody else. But this this noise gate, noise killer, um, it's say if you're using a, an old guitar amp, they, they, that's quite helpful. It cuts out the feedback. Yeah, so I won't bother going into that. I've made a video about that one. Uh, that one there, look, chorus. I think people use these things. Right, that's an octave split. It 
might not actually do much to the octave split because it's already I'm already adding a double bubble with an octave split anyway so let's try it with single notes oh it is right it's already on single note let me turn the squeal off It's almost like this echoey sort of, so it's called a chorus. I sort of turn it all the way up there. So it kind of adds this sort of echoey feel. It, it sort of, it, it, it doubly does what you're doing. <laughs> So I guess it makes it sound like an octave split. I am actually doing octave splits there. Should I turn that down? <laughs> so it adds this, it's, it's basically like an electronic sort of sound. It's so the you know the purists now, your purists are basically saying. You, you're making it sound rubbish because it's all it's, you're going down this sort of, but some people street street entertainers they use that sort of thing to make all sorts of wonderful and weird weird um sounds do you know what i mean you can do a bit of beatbox with it and all that so it adds this digitalized Chorusy. That's so that's your chorus right so therefore unless you're getting into you know a bit of reggae um or you know just alternative sort of music i don't think your average blues player yeah would would be you know going after a, a chorus pedal i don't think so i think your average blues player um and i'm talking working working man or lady normal person yeah <laughs> They've got um, an amplifier which isn't great. So then they might go for that for H, uh, TC electronic force field to boost it, to clean it. It does some sort of purification and cleaning and, and it comes out the other side better, and bigger and cleaner and, and bigger, you know what I mean? So the chorus, uh, that one I showed, you're talking... Twenty-five pound or something from Amazon. Um, going back to what I said, I, I don't use it. Don't use it. I may as well sell it. What, what have I got it for? Right. Uh, what's this other thing? Extreme driver. So some of you guys might have a driver on your amplifier. Let's let's give it a go. Without that, actually made the volume go down. Now that actually did give some sort of can you hear it? See, there's a lot of 
there's a lot of feedback going on there and the mic is is picking this up quite the mic is sort of picking me up picking up my voice even from nowhere near my my mouth <laughs> So I don't even know what this thing is. Extreme driver. Question is. I think again, that will boost. Even now my mic is picking me up from there. And there's that feedback. So switch the gate on. Yeah, and you're making a lot of noise. So that then right, that was probably about 30. 30 quid from Amazon. Again, I think that is a bit like this. I bet it's exactly the same thing. It's boosting what you've already got. There's no effect in a sense. It was it was sort of boosting. So what have I got it for? I should sell one of them maybe. Maybe. I'm just sort of like just showing. And I'm not saying you should go and buy what I've got here. This is a good example. It's not a good example. Um, but see, I didn't have people saying here you go this isn't a very good example you ask people in groups and this one goes yeah get yeah one of these is what you need that's, that's what you need and this is what you need i use that all the time and this is great and that's great and it's all variable and it's all it's all subjective because this one's got the amp for it this one's got the mic for it this one's He's putting it through his computer, for instance. This one's in that type of music, which really requires uh, ultra chorus, for instance. This one, re re you know, so there's so many different opinions. So, so let's, let's go on. So let me turn that thing off because... It's a driver, extreme is a donna. That's a donna, same as a noise killer. This thing here, another donna kebab. Um, wave. So. These things, I should put them on eBay. This could be really good for the alternative street entertainer. Um, someone who wants to do stuff that's slightly different. Switch it off and 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 it's like you're you're like in the middle of a desert. Back to using uh, your cupping to to create the best tone.
So you know that would be great if you're some sort of street entertainer and you're making wild noises and doing some uh, narrating for a story. Uh, yeah. So there you go. So these, you know, where, what have I got here? Um, so I guess reverb itself is something that comes with my pig nose. So that's a little bit of the whys and wherefore of um, what's out there, I guess, or, or what I got in it, really. Um, and that this is a looper. A great fun looper. Should I even bother trying to record myself on it? It's, it's this thing is would be good if you dedicated some time uh, to getting it right. Good, awesome fun. Now, if you want to have fun, this is the one. <laughs> Yeah, that's mad. That is that. Now, if you ain't really trying to get no reverb and you ain't trying to get, you, you're quite happy with what you got, but you want to have a bit of fun. Now, a looper pedal, you know, you can really have some fun with that, especially if, um, if you've got an amplifier, which you can plug two instruments into. How does that work? Oh, I don't know. You might have to unplug one from here. I don't know. There's guys out here that would know better. I guess you might uh, you might have to um, do a loop on a guitar, then plug your thing uh, mic in it back into this, and then do a loop with harmonica. I don't know. I don't know what people do. This is just another video towards the collection of what to do and what not to do. Maybe worth a try if that's what you want to do. You've got £30. You want a guitar amp. Um, I've got a little bit of feedback in my group at the moment. And, and I think a couple of guys are saying guitar pedals are worth... It's worth messing around with them things because they're so cheap. You, you can get you can get used and cheap, second hand, and have a lot of fun with them. So 
that that might be the way to go especially if you're on a budget and you don't know what you're doing you you're having a bit of fun yeah um if your amp is like a guitar amp um then you might want to get one of those noise gates to cut out the feedback i don't really suffer with that with the big nose um if 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 I had to get rid of all this, I would keep the TC electronic force field. Um, oh, and the looper because it's fun. And if I had more money, more time, sorry, I I would I would put more time into the looper if I if I had the time. Um, the battery battery pack. All of this is is the battery pack, right? Is great. I know a few people that go on. The good thing about this thing is I could sling this in the shed, right? Um, and I could actually go and play this in the garden, this setup. I could go and take it in the street. Yeah? And and I don't need plugs everywhere. All these, these cable, all that is is X, XLR. Yeah? That's all that is. Nothing, no electric. No, nothing's plugged in. That's battery. That's battery. There you go. Now, if anybody's got any feedback on, on uh, the net, the downside to everything being battery, then please let, please write a comment below the video. Um, I just, it's, it's when it comes to having a bit of fun. This is this is it. This is good. It's good to have a little bit of fun like this, you know. Um, so I hope that might help somebody um, who's walking into this direction. It's a bit of a minefield. So take your time. Get some advice. Don't just do what I did and just buy stuff. Because there's a lot, of, you know, you got to end up selling it again. It weren't that good sort of thing. And people go, oh yeah, should have should have asked. I would have told you. Um, this here is just some sort of briefcase that I picked up. Uh, the the pedal board come from eBay, something like twenty or thirty pounds or something, and I've sort of screwed it to the base. Uh, and with that, you get the Velcro, and you put the Velcro underneath these things and it sticks on and you're rocking and you're rolling and with with this or with summer i think it's this you get all these um there you go it lasts for hours and it's all good fun all right god bless